The stick and move mod cube and the stick and move mod cylinder are parent mods. That means they will modify anything that they are a child of. The stick and move mod will make it so that a player will move with the parent object while the parent object is moving. I'll demonstrate that in a moment, but first, let's go over the options. The first thing we see is a message that says tag manager must include tag player. If I click on the tag drop down list at the top of my inspector, you'll see that my tag manager includes player. If your tag manager doesn't have one, the stick and move mod won't work properly. It will end up generating an error message. Next, we have a hover me option. If you mouse over the words hover me, you'll see some very useful information, so be sure to check that out. One piece of information that is especially important is that the X and Z scale values of whatever object you place the stick and move mod in are the same. If they are not the same, then it may distort your character when your character jumps on it. It may also be a good idea to make the Y value the same as well. Underneath the hover me option are the events. We have two events. Player entered happens anytime the player enters the stick and move mod. Player exited happens anytime the player exits the stick and move mod. Time for a demonstration. In my scene, I have a moving cube. I'm going to go ahead and click the play button to show you what happens before we add a stick and move mod. You'll notice that when I stand on the platform, the platform slides out from underneath me. This is not what we want. We'd like to have our character move with the platform. We can simulate that by using the stick and move mod. I'll go ahead and drop one in my scene. But before I make any adjustments, I need to make sure the box collider component is expanded so that we can see it in our scene. The box collider component acts as our trigger for the stick and move mod. Anytime our character enters this area, the character will become a child of the platform, of the parent object. This will make the character move with the platform. I need to move the stick and move mod over to my platform and scale it so that it covers the entire top of the platform. As long as the player remains in the mod, the player will move with the platform. So, if we make the stick and move tall enough, our player will always move with the platform, even during a jump. But, if we make it really short, so that our player can exit out while jumping, then the platform might move out from underneath us when we do jump, which is okay if that's what you want. I'm going to go ahead and make mine tall enough so that our player can't jump out. Now that my stick and move mod is properly positioned and scaled, I need to make it a child of the cube. The stick and move modifies its parent, so we need to make sure the cube is a parent of our stick and move mod. Now that I've dropped it into our cube, you can see that it's a child object of the cube. So let's go ahead and test it out. We are now able to jump on the platform without it sliding out from underneath our feet. Let's do one more thing. Let's make it so that the platform only moves while we're standing on it. I'm using a spinner mod to move the platform. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the spinner mod and uncheck the option that says spin on startup. This will keep it from moving when the game starts. Next, I need to select the stick and move mod and then drag the spinner mod to the player entered event and tell it to spin continuously. Then I need to drag the spinner mod to the player exited event and tell it to pause spinning. Let's go ahead and click play and see if everything works the way we want it. Looks like everything is working properly. The platform is only active while we're standing on it.